Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and today I want to discuss about a deep learning project which is dog cat classifier. Right, so let's just run our app and see how it looks like. I've deployed it on Flask and you can see I'm getting warnings because I don't have currently GPU set up on my machine and it has successfully created our server right so let's follow this url and this is our flask app right so uh, what you have to do is like uh, give the input as an image of a dog or a cat and this machine learning or deep learning algorithm will find out and predict it's a cat or dog right uh, that's the like main motive of the project and you can see as the project descriptions also says it so let's just do one thing and uh, give it some input as this dog image we know that it's a dog but let's see our machine learning program has also says this image contain dog uh, so this value will be like uh, changing as uh, the image will change right and let's see if we give an image of a cat and submit it so you can see that this image contains a cat uh, so this is the project uh, let's do one thing that uh, let's just search dog and try some random image from the internet right uh wish dog wish dog let's see how this one goes let me save this one on my desktop as i don't know inp and okay and let me just give this image image as an input and see how our algorithm works on that right and if we submit it this image contained dog so uh, because the accuracy like uh, which we got was around 98 percent so this will work properly right and let's see our code and uh, for this source code as a downloadable file or maybe you want to uh, get a zoom explainer session you can always contact me on this whatsapp or maybe mail me at this gmail and i will try to arrange a zoom explainer session for that right or maybe you want to just uh, get the source code of this right uh, you can check out the description so uh, let's just discuss about source code a bit this was the like my notebook on which i trained and uh, like uh, export the uh, model as dog cat classified dot h5 file right it is opening up and it is taking a time let's let's discuss about this one first so i just uh, created a model uh, on, the, on my inputs as training data let me just show you where we have training data and where it was yeah so this was the training data uh, i downloaded it from kegel uh, i will give the description in the uh, i will give the link in the description below right you can also download it from there and you can see we have 25,000 images in total and uh, exactly uh, 12,500 for cats and 12,500 for dogs right so this was our data set and we trained a model or you can say we just uh, tune the model uh, tune the weights of pre-trained model uh, on this data set because we have used transfer learning for our project right and 
this file has also opened you can say uh, i have like printed the number of uh, uh, images in my data set with the help of python os library and then uh, let me see if i can run this yeah and then if i just uh, show you these are the file name uh, image names right and let's just clear this output and you can see i have shown some images and uh, you can see 12500 words dog and 12500 words for cat right then we have to uh, obviously resized all the image for uh, like giving it as an input uh, to our model because uh, the model we have used except a particular files uh, particular size of the images as 224 by 224 right so we have just resized it and then we uh, just label is that cat is equal to zero and dog is equal to one uh, just to like uh, give a numeric representation to our data set right and then we have just converted into numpy array because we are obviously giving it to, to our model as an array and then train test separate then scaling the data set and then we have used this mobile net uh, model which is like pre-trained cnn and we have imported this model as and uh, we have just tuned the weights according to our data set right and uh, this approach will like always give you the uh, better accuracy and if i just show you yeah, the test accuracy was 0.97.7 percent right so around 80 uh, 98 percent you are getting the accuracy right and then we have just uh, uh, check our model if it's doing the predictions and then for the deployment i just uh, make a pipeline uh, like to handle the new images which we will upload on our, uh, on our app right i just uh, let me just show you where uh, so we just saved our model as model dot save and do cat classifier dot h5 and you can see the file here then we just loaded our model and uh, you can see we have this pipeline on which the new image will work right so if you just uh, change the image file name here uh, the result will change accordingly right according to the predictions of our model and then if i can show you in my app.py file i have uh, implemented this exact same uh, pipeline which was there right uh, but we are just uh, storing the result in our result uh, variable and then passing it uh, in the render template to show it on the uh, on our web app right and if i can just show you in my uploaded where i am showing you uh, the result so you can say this result will change according to the predictions of our model right and first of all i will show the image and then the results so uh, that was it guys uh, i hope you liked the video and if you want to like discuss more about the source code or maybe want to download it you can always uh, contact me or text me at uh, this whatsapp or mail me and uh, for these uh, other projects of machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence i will be always available to help right thank you for uh, watching this video